know the four greatest values in life. Number one being integrity. We understand how electricity works, right? I turn on a switch that sends the signal that all of those wires should get connected and that a light bulb should come on or a fan should come on or whatever we want, right? However, we also understand that it's set up in a way for me to use it that's safe, right? I turn a switch, it comes on, my light comes on, my fan comes on. Uh, but if it's not safe, like if it's a construction site or if I didn't know the person or somebody who who, who did the uh, wiring didn't do a good job, I wouldn't want to touch that switch, right? <laughs> there is a law of reciprocity here. This law of electricity, if you will, that if you knew the consequences of it, you would never violate it. And in fact, it's evil to violate it. Dictionary, okay, Oxford Dictionary says it's the quality of being honest and having strong moral principles or moral uprightness. It's also the state of being whole and undivided. If you if you knew, you're going to get shocked if you put your hand in the outlet. It's safe right now. If you use it appropriately, it's totally safe, right? If I have something that goes in an outlet and it has the appropriate type of plug and the wattage and the other things, whatever electricity uses, I put it in there, then I will be just fine, right? I'll just, I'll be fine if I put into that outlet. However, I just put my finger or a paper clip or whatever in there, right? And I'm going to get shocked hard, right? It's going to be a lesson I can't forget of the word faith. In Greek, the word pistis means faith. It means to be fully convinced. So the thing you're fully convinced of will come across in texture, color, size, because your thoughts do have quality and it comes across even in your physical being. And every every kind of thing about your life will, will look a certain type of way right? So according to your faith, according to your faith, may it be done unto you. That's a spiritual principle. According to your faith, may it be done unto you. Whatever you're most convinced of is what you're going to see the most on the outside. Courage is the third pillar of life here. And that means the intensity of attitude in facing life without fear. Courage and understanding go together. And therefore, I'm going to mix my understanding of of that greatness that I was creating with courage and step out and take another step and take another step. There's only two rules to defeating a narcissist, okay? Number one, this is a spiritual battle. You are going to win or lose there. Rule number two, you have not because you've asked not. And for most people, that's going to be where their hangup is. For most people, it's going to be because Oh, they're going to say no already. I don't want to, um, I don't want to call them, ask them, have my attorney ask or whatever. They're going to say, no, you have not because you've asked not. And number going back to the second cornerstone is faith. There's a size color dimension to the words that you're saying. So if you've already decided they're not, they're going to say no. So, oh, you can ask them, but they're going to say no. Well, guess what? Your faith has said I have 0% trust in that thing. This lesson is that is humility. And that means that you have to know who you are and where you are in relation to others and to God. Okay. And all of life also, all of creation and everything else. Because if you don't, I, this again has to do with the correct GPS. Because again, if you do not know where you are, you're always going to be off when you're trying to get to your destination. This is a tenacious and also a stable way of thinking. And it comes from the habit and the patterns that we develop of thinking, which are all based on understanding, which again is wisdom. And so if you, if you don't, learn how to correct your thinking patterns. There's never any opportunity for you to grow or expand in wisdom. And that's simply because you don't take accurate account of yourself.